du, du, du. Test, test. Focus. Okay. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So here at Half Men Half Tech, we just hit 10K subs on the channel. And personally, I wanted to say thank you so much for the support personally and towards the community. It's been tremendous and sort of encourages me to do better and always improve each step of the way. So thank you. So macOS 12.2 is finally out. This is the second point update when it comes to macOS Monterey. And for me on my MacBook Pro that you see here, this update actually came in at exactly 1.8 three gigs and I was updating from the official release of macOS 12.1 and if you're not seeing this update today it just came out and it's only available to developer beta testers for public beta testers hopefully this update will be out tomorrow I've already updated my device that you're seeing here my MacBook Pro and let's quickly look at the software changes that came with this update and if we go into the about this Mac section you can actually see that we have a new build number with version 12.2 and it's 21D5025F. So this update has an F at the end. I really want to hold off and weigh the benefits and the bugs that are here with this update as F is highly unstable. And also if we go to the storage section just to see how much macOS storage is taking, you can see that this update is taking up 16.92 gigs. That has increased a little bit from the 16.8 85 gigs that I had on 11.1 .1. so hopefully with a future update we'll be able to reduce this macOS or system storage size. Now when it comes to the new features and changes that are here with macOS 12.2 so initially when macOS Monterey came out it came out as 12.0.1 it didn't bring about a major feature that people looked forward to which was universal control and three days ago when macOS 12.1 came out it also didn't bring about that universal control feature and it seems like with macOS 12.2 at least with this first beta that I'm on it doesn't have that function of universal control so you can go into your system preferences and go to your display settings and for me on my macbook pro that you're seeing here i actually don't have the universal control interaction preference and also if i try to search for like universal control you can see that my search preferences here does sort of mention universal control but it's a function that once i click on it there isn't much that i can do but if you go to the apple.beta.com website and you go to the universal control section you'll be able to see that apple has updated this page to indicate that universal control is a feature that is coming later this fall so next year this is when we are going to be getting universal control it could be with macOS 12.2 but during a later beta or with a later update. The second new change that macOS 12.2 introduces for Mac users if you use the Apple Music app is that finally the Apple Music app is going to be fully native to macOS. So when macOS Catalina came out back in the days we used to have iTunes and Catalina basically replaced the iTunes that we had with the current Apple Music app that we have here but with that Apple Music app that was introduced it wasn't fully native only certain portions of that music app were native I believe the playlist was native that's why you'd find that you could load the playlist quite fast but a bunch of functions were not native they actually used web content loaded into an app meaning that for the music app you'd have to click a certain function and then that would trigger a certain site to be loaded and that 
sort of didn't work smooth it sort of made the music app a little bit laggy and slow not as smooth as what you have on ios but finally with mac os 12.2 apple is rebuilding the apple music app to work with app kit which is native to mac os and that is going to mean faster loading speed and better user experience more of what we partially have on the apple tv app which is by the way also being improved with this mac os 12.2 so more native apps come to mac os finally with app kit another change that's here with this update if you have the newer macbook pro models that use pro motions that were just introduced uh, this year you finally get a glimpse of a somewhat working promotion feature when it comes to safari so if you go to your page on safari and for you to actually be able to experience this fully and in a non-interruptive way i would advise you go into your preferences and go to your battery setting and disable uh, low power mode as this sometimes can reduce or hinder you from getting the full 120 experience if you have the newer max but that's not a feature i will be able to show you is my mac is quite dated so finally with mac os 12.2 this is not something that i've seen but a whole lot of users on reddit and on twitter they've mentioned that safari scrolling and browsing seems to be a little bit faster and this is all thanks to the adaptive promotion that we have with mac os 12 and also thanks to the new displays that we have with the new macbook pros so this is something that you can always check out if you have the feature and in case you are curious if we go to the about the safari version to see the version that came with mac os 12.2 beta 1 you can see that the version is 15.3 and the build number is 17612.4.2.1 dot two so i'm not sure whether this has been updated but it sounds like it's a different build compared to what we had on mac os 12.1 also with mac os 12.2 if you use a service or an app that has dolby atmos built in you now have a better and rich audio sound thanks to mac os 12.2 you can sort of hear more elements and the sound sound a little bit rich and sort of a little bit different it's hard to explain audio to someone it's something that you have to experience and feel for yourself also another change that i noticed immediately after updating to mac os 12.2 is that there was a new pop-up screen that mentioned that your mac is being optimized so it basically said optimizing your mac performance and battery life may be affected until completed now i've updated to mac os 12.0.1 i've also updated to mac os 12.1 but in the history of mac os 12 or mac os monterey this was my first time seeing this notification so it could have been something that has always been there and i'm just seeing it now or it could be a new feature or change that has been implemented into this update so those are some of the changes and also if we go to the release notes of this update it's a really interesting release note that we have today with mac os monterey 12.2 here it says notes and known issues general there are no new release notes for this beta software update so those are some of the new features and of course with the new update apple is going to try by all means to improve a little bit on some of the reported bugs and issues and also they are going to like improve on security a little bit now Every update, especially a beta update, always has some bugs and issues. So let's talk about some of those bugs and issues that I've at least seen for me when it comes to Mac OS 12.2, the first beta. So the first bug that is here that hasn't been addressed or that Apple hasn't really said anything about has to do with the memory leak issue that has been going on for quite a bit, especially when you're using like even some Apple apps like Safari 
or sometimes when you're using the Apple TV app. This is something that you can always check out. Some users over on Twitter are mentioning that when it comes to Wi-Fi or wireless connectivity, it doesn't seem to be as smooth as it was on 12.1 or 12.0.1. So you might want to research a little bit if this is something that concerns you. And also some users are reporting that they are still experiencing some features that are not working when it comes to their trackpad despite this issue being listed as a resolved issue with macOS 12.1 so you might actually want to check your trackpad settings to make sure that they are current as sometimes when you update like for macOS 12.0.1 to macOS 12.1 sometimes settings revert back to their default and it could be a matter of setting or it could really be a bug that's here with this update so keep an eye on that and the last bug that i would like to mention is that there seems to be a minor issue that comes and goes when it comes to opening documents that you might have in your finders app or that you might receive in the email app using preview so if you're an office person and you use documents a lot you might want to pay close attention to this now other than that these are the issues if you are experiencing some bugs or issues with a certain update that you are on or you are testing out and you really want to see them resolved the best way is to use the feedback assistant app and report those bugs and issues the more people that report and mention a certain issue the better and sooner that apple can resolve those issues now other than that guys this is how mac os 12.2 the first beta has been for me on my macbook product that you are seeing here i would really like to know whether you are going to be updating or not as this is the first beta it's not one that i would encourage a lot of people to update to and once again thank you so much for 10k subs it's the start of something great stay safe and i would definitely see you in the next video peace